Good afternoon, Pumas. This is Ms. Morris, and I'm going to lead you an example today. Please compose yourself for prayer and reflection. Add my arm, Dave Lauren. We study, we work, we play for the greater glory of God. I wrote a different exam earlier this week, reflecting on my two-year journey at Cristo Rey and how I became a part of this community. I reflected on the idea of home, what home means, and how Minneapolis and Cristo Rey feel like home to me. Just a few days later, that reflection no longer feels relevant because so many of our community cannot feel at home in the city they live in. So many of our community cannot feel safe in the city that they live in. Home is meant to be a place where we can be ourselves and be accepted. Home is where we feel secure and loved. Home can be many places, but right now, our city does not feel like home for so many. At Cristo Rey, I teach and learn about social justice and social action with my ninth graders through art, poetry, and music. I want to share one poem that cost me during this time. This is Lady Liberty by Tata Oliveira. For liberty, your day filled in splendor, July 4th, New York Harbor, 1986. Midnight sky, fireworks splashing, heavens exploding into radiant bouquets. Wall Street, a backdrop of centennial adulation. Computerized capital angling cameras celebrating the international symbol of freedom. Stretching across microchips, wall-to-wall people, sailing ships, gliding armies, ferried in pursuit of happiness, constitutional adoration, packaged television channels for liberty, immigrant illusions, celebrated in the name of democratic principles. God bless America, land of the stars, saying banner that we love. But the symbol suffered 100 years of decay, climbing up to the spined crown, the fractured torch hand, the ruptured intestines, palms blistered and calloused, feet embroidered in rust, centennial decay, the lady's eyes cataract filled, exposed to sun and snow, salty wind, discolored versus staining her robes. She needed remolding, redesigning, the decomposed body now melted down for souvenirs, lungs and limbs jailed in scaffolding of ugly cubicles incarcerating the body as she prepared to receive her 20th century transplant, paid by pitching pennies, hometown chicken barbecues, marathon on America's main streets. She heard the speeches, the presidents, the French and American partners. The nation believed in her rooted for the queen and Lady Liberty decided to reflect on Lincoln's emancipatory resoluteness, on Washington's patriotism, on Jefferson's lucidity, on William Jennings Bryan's socialism, on Woodrow Wilson's League of Nations, on Roosevelt's New Deal, and on Martin Luther King's nonviolence. Lady Liberty decided to reflect on Lillian Wald's settlement, on Helen Keller's Sixth Sense, on Susan B. Anthony's suffrage movement, on Mother Cabrini's giving soul, on Harriet Tubman's stubborn pursuit of freedom. Just before she was touched, just before she was dismantled, Lady Liberty spoke. She spoke for the principles, for the preamble, for the Bill of Rights, and 39 peaceful presidential transitions. And just before she was touched, Lady Liberty wanted to convey her own resolutions, her own bicentennial goals, so that in 2086, she would be smiling and she would be proud. And then just before she was touched, and then while she was being reconstructed, and then while she was being celebrated, she spoke. If you touch me, touch all of my people who need attention and societal repair. Give the tired and the poor the same attention, America. Touch us all with liberty. Touch us all with liberty. Hunger abounds. Our soil is plentiful. Our technology advanced enough to feed the world, to feed humanity's hunger. But let's celebrate not our wealth, not our sophisticated defense, not our scientific advancements, not our intellectual adventure. Let us concentrate on our weaknesses, on our societal needs, for we will never be free if indeed freedom is subjugated to trampling upon other people's needs. This is a warning, my beloved America. So touch me, and in touching me, touch all of our people. Do not single me out. Touch all of our people. Touch all our people. All our people. Our people. And then I shall truly enjoy my day filled in splendor. July 4th, New York Harbor, 1986. Midnight sky, fireworks splashing, heaven exploding.
exploding into radiant bouquets, celebrating in the name of equality in the pursuit of happiness. God bless America, land of star-spangled banner that we love. Remember, Pumas, that you are loved and missed. Our home may not be complete right now, but know that we are here for you. Have a peaceful day, Pumas.